<laughs> Kidding. What's up, Wednesday time? Craig here. Welcome. May 25th. The time just keeps rolling. I want to introduce this guy. Another very important. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Guess who's on the camera today? Can you imagine? Come on, Julie, smile and wave. Hey, guys. Yay, I love those yeah, shoes. Yep. <laughs> Construction attire. Yeah. Oh, of course, yeah. Hello. Hey, okay, so, um, ah, Branson Ferris wheel. Michael Haygood, in case you didn't recognize him in the hard hat. Oh, check it out. Yeah. No big deal. Love the it. The only Mom sticker that's baby. really worthy of putting on there. Absolutely. All right, so, what a long history in a short amount of weeks with this guy. I mean, we've known Michael, we knew the Haygoods, but man. Man, long story short, you've seen some of his work already. If you've w witnessed any of the uh, time-lapse videos we've done and mm -hmm. some of the first documentary phases, remember when Julie was like holding the camera and filming me and it was like <laughs> this and it was 10 degrees in Chicago? Uh, Michael went with us and his film crew. We were like, let's film, let's document this, the move of the iconic Navy Pier Fair School of Branson. And so we hollered at him and he said, I am totally in, and we took a couple of cars up there, and uh, man, we had fun. We strapped GoPros on just about everything possible. You know, the beams are moving around. Some of the drivers had, had little uh, sticky oh, yeah. mounts on their helmets. They loved that. We met some of the coolest guys, yes. and we were like, I wonder if they'll let us put GoPros on stuff. Yeah! We were way down. Michael was climbing around everything. So, <laughs> all of this that you now see so nicely put together, one day, one evening, we pull into Chicago, into the truck marshalling yard at the convention center, and here sits all this steel just in a big, nice pile. And so we filmed it all. So that was the first phase of Michael getting involved in this project. Then we decided, uh, Navy Pier had a great, cool vintage lighting system, but it was very old. And uh, we decided that we needed to switch that out to something much cooler. We love the vintage cool but there's another cool and it's what this guy does and he said hey I do lights <laughs> have you ever seen my robot suit in my show and <laughs> I'm hot. like yes I have talk to us about this so it, it hit me when we were up there like Craig said we were documenting this move this iconic move and I'm looking at these these light bars coming off and, and the way they're getting loaded and how the wiring and I'm thinking to myself man there's so many, like, there's some cool stuff that you could do with these bars oh, and with the whole system. So we talked about it, you know, in weeks of preparation, kind of talking back and forth, and we landed on a system, a smart LED RGB system. So let me show you the bars. What we did was we wanted to keep uh, two things about the, the old system was the bars, because they're iconic, and we also wanted to keep that warm glow, like the incandescent bulb glow. So we put these uh, LEDs in there, which can do yeah, the warm glow plus some. So these are 2.1 watt RGB LEDs. They're all pixel mount. They're smart LEDs. How many colors can they do? I uh, too many because with the RGB, Endless. I'm talking endless. Any, endless. any color, any color yes. shade, any pattern. How I could cool go on for days talking about it. You see me smiling. Say right. hi, guys. Boys. Hey. hey, Andy. Hey, yeah, yeah, yo. Wave. Uh, Dutch wheels. <laughs> the masters. <laughs> these guys and Michael work like this. You bet. Yes. So, it, it's awesome. Like these things, any, anything we can program, and when I say we, I mean Michael, the brain. Yeah. Right. Um, the pixel this wheel mapper. Has how many lights? We are looking at 16, roughly 16,000 RGB LEDs. It's going to light up the Branson sky on and how many of these basis. are being are installed? 280 different size bars going on. And I, I could talk for days about it, but just know that you're going to need to see this in person to really fully appreciate the um, iconic wheel and the lighting system. I mean, we may sink, be syncing it to music. I mean, there's all sorts of cool stuff we can do with these. Lots so of possibilities. So now, as usual, somebody's waiting on somebody. So these guys, they're wanting another light bar and they're honking Are we going to watch it? What's I gotta run, guys. up Wednesday? Michael. Pleasure chatting with you. Thank you. So excited to be here working with you guys. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Are we going to watch so, it? Huh? Are we going to watch him? Sure. Okay. Here, what, ooh. Ooh. So, here he goes, here he goes. Okay, everybody pay attention. Okay, so he uh, goes from one side to the other and hands these gentlemen the light, pole, uh, light bars. And uh, they have hung, I don't know how many now, but a lot of them. So uh, we had to stop earlier with a little bit of uh, uh, weather that we've been having. But hey, it happens. Here he so, goes. 
These, uh, over a period of weeks, they did everything he said, stripped the old, put in the new, into uh, down in a warehouse. And one night when he had a bunch of it plugged in, just kind of sitting all over, it lit up downtown Branson. and it was so cool. Awesome. So, um, we Here can't wait for this part of the process. The lights are killer. You're going to love them. Guys, thanks for coming out to What's Up Wednesday. There is a whole lot going on. I just want to turn Julie around here real oh. quick. Check this out. Oh, yeah. That's sweet. So, the day keeps changing, but in the next five days, we'll call it. This is about half the gondolas, 40 gondolas, go on to the Branson Ferris Wheel. Hey, the Navy Pier Ferris Wheel, the new one, it opens this weekend, Friday. Uh, 100-year anniversary of Navy Pier. So, if you're near Chicago, check the new one out. It's cool. It's, uh, it's bigger up there. Everybody talks about how cold they were when they rode this one, if the wind was blowing. It's climate-controlled. And here we are with the uh, with the icon that it used to be. So these go on next week, guys. Thanks for coming out. As always, have a good day. See you.